going on guys, Kyrie here. In today's video, I want to talk to you about I and O, inscription and order. This is a big thing I keep seeing uh, tons of questions about on the Discord, as well as my Discord, even in con uh, chats down below on my videos. I want to talk to you about what the colors mean, what the stats are, and what you should be looking for. Let's get into it. <laughs> So right here we have I and O, inscription and order. So first you have inscription, which are these three triangles right here. Then you have order, these three circles right here. Uh, inscriptions are your offensive stats, uh, attack, break, crit, and uh, order is your defensive stats, tenacity, things, uh, defense, things like that. So what you want to be looking for on these is ideally there's also percentages for everything as you'll see right here you have protection rate damage decrease uh, damage from players decrease uh, those are things you're going to be looking for as well as up here on the offense you're going to want similar things as you see pierce rate damage increase ignore block having the flat stats are fine attack or whatnot those are actually going to be the biggest amount of cp but CP is just a number. It doesn't really mean anything. You really want stats that matter. So I would love more pierce rate over more attack, crit, or break. Uh, as well as ignore block and damage increase. These are all uh, things that multiply way better than just flat attack. Now how we do that is, uh, as you see, this is the inscription bag. All the copies of things I have. I can either down here enhance to make it stronger uh, over there you put it in it requires the spirits which you get all these things from doing top league or elemental realm or you can buy it from other players in the exchange so top league being the pvp way to get it ex um, elemental realm being the pve way to get it and as you see 94 percent that's because right here it explains uh, as they go up, the percentages go down and kind of go up and down in a wonky order. All the way up to, as you see, uh, plus 9, it goes down slightly all the way down. Then it goes down dramatically for a bit. And then once you get to 13, the reason why it jumps up to 80% to go to 13 is if we look up here, once you're at 13 and above, when you fail, it actually goes down. Not all the way down to 1, but it does go down in power. But if you look, these, th these are massive CP gains uh, that you're getting. If you even just look right there, ignore the attacks because those are numbers I don't care about, but damage to adventures going from 1.8 to 2.16 is a massive increase as far as damage is concerned. If you look at a good IO like this one right here, you're getting across several good stats. Now what happens if you get roll something that's better? You have two options. Either you can inlay over it, it will not, let's say if I take this plus five right here, put that new one on, it'll revert, it'll be a zero so that I have to restart from zero up to plus five. You can also remodel, which is giving copies to reroll the stats. Uh, if I go up here, it's not clicking. Go there, put it in, I can hit remodel, and then I can pick the previous attribute or the new attribute. It gives you a CP number, which like I said, don't worry about the CP number, worry about the stats. You really want the percentages and you want the higher colors. I'll get into the colors in a second. But this is what you'll see on the official Discord and my Discord, people saying left or right all the time, and that's because they want to know which one they should choose. Uh, you can also dismantle. I don't really recommend doing that. Uh, once you have enough orange income coming in, you can dismantle the purple ones to give you some more spirit coming in. Now as far as the color, the color is actually going to be the same way as the equipment and the fairies. So uh, real quick I can show you equipment and I can show you fairies. 
So if we take a look right here, if I go to weapons, you'll see uh, they got some green ones, green, then blue, the same kind of uh, terminology color system you'll see in other video games. Green, blue, purple, orange, red, rainbow, or pink. And then if we take a look at fairies, do the same thing. If we look at the fairies down here, you have the good fairies, which get crunched uh, automatically if you have that checkbox on, which are blue. Then you have the base four stars, which are purple. Then you have the base six stars, which are uh, orange. And then as you upgrade them, if we take a look, you have red. And then also past red, you'll have rainbow or pink. Uh, that And then people who have recently hit 170 on the earliest servers in the game are seeing that after their red weapons... Uh, they're also hitting that pink or rainbow color. So it's going to be the same kind of system, pink being the highest, then red, then yellow. Anything under yellow, probably re-roll it, unless the other three are, you know, all pinks or whatever that you really, really want to keep. But that was just a quick breakdown on I and O's to show you guys what you should be looking for, what the colors mean, things like that. Put down below I oh space and what you liked or disliked about the video to be entered into this giveaway till next time guys